Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, let me discuss about unit testing in Spring Boot. Here, what is unit testing? Unit testing is a one of the testing done by the developers to make sure individual unit or method or component functionalities are working fine. Here, when we look into this definition, what we have observed is this unit testing is done by the developers to make sure that each unit or method or component is tested during the development phase. Why J unit? J unit promotes the idea of first testing then coding which emphasis on setting up the test data for a piece of code which can be tested first and that can be implemented. When it comes to unit testing, the most important and prominent unit testing framework is J unit. J unit has been important in the development of test driven applications. This J unit follows the approach so called test a little and code a little which increases the programmer productivity and stability of program code that reduces the programmer stress and the time spent on debugging. This will reduce the increases the programmer productivity and reduces the programmer stress that he that programmer spent more on the debugging. What is at the rate of test annotation? This test annotation tells that J unit that public void method that which we are testing so called testing method is attached to be run as a test case when we annotated the, uh, that method with at the rate of test annotation that so called method will be run as a test case method to run the method j unit first constructs a fresh instance of a class and then invokes the annotated method any exceptions thrown by the test will be reported as a reported by the j unit as a failure we have the assertions from j unit 5 first of all what is assertion an assertion allows testing the correctness of any assumptions that have been made in the program assertion is achieved using the assert statement in java while executing assertion it is believed to be true that means we will compare the actual value with the expected value if the actual value and expected value doesn't match it will throw the assertion error Assertion is a collection of utility methods. It has some utility methods that support asserting conditions in text. We will discuss everything by video by video. Here I am using this dependency, J unit dependency. Let me discuss a simple test case by using assertion. Let me create a class which is Java class. Add number. In that I am taking the public integer. Add number. demo i am taking int a comma int b as a parameters by returning the integer by adding the two numbers here i have created the so called method which returns the integer addition of two numbers and in the 
test folder and create no need here I am having the test project demo application test in the in this class I am creating the method test method public void test add test add I will create the instance of that add number add number ad add number equal to new add number add number dot I am calling that method and passing the empty. press alt enter and assign statement to new local variable which is a actual value after this write the expected value expected value should be 30 I am taking this as 30 assertions from the org.junit.jupyter.api dot assert equals method pass the two parameters expected value comma actual value and annotate this with the, at the rate of test now run the case control shift of 10 here if we see here the test case has been passed the test case has been passed this is test add method it has been passed now in the expected value if I take that as 10 and run it again control shift or 10 let me check it. what we will get see here the test has been failed the test has been failed the test has been failed and we are getting a session failed error because the expected value doesn't match with the actual value actual value let me discuss another example also another example new java class test string I am taking the class as test string uh, I am writing public string reverse test reverse string method which takes the string s yes. uh, string s yes. string reverse which is stores the reverse string value take the for loop and write the condition s dot length minus 1 greater than equal to 0 and write the i minus minus add each character into the reverse variable reverse equal to reverse plus s dot sorry s dot caret of i south reverse here in the test string class i have written the logic for a to, for to reverse the string In this application I 
I'm taking another method which is public void test reverse demo test reverse annotate this method with the rate of test create the instance of that class so called test string class test string ts equal to new test string test string dot call the method and pass the string so called i am passing the welcome alt press alt enter and introduce the local variable which is the actual value string expected value it should be i am taking the expected value as e m o c l e w expected one assertions dot assert equals and pass the expected value comma actual value now test the condition test the instant method test case method control shift and check sorry okay 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 here i'm missing the return statement okay now run the test again control shift see here test reverse method has been passed this method has been the test condition has been passed test pass 3 test add also passed that's all about the first basic introduction of j unit in the next video we will implement some of the and we will discuss some of the methods some of the examples and we will get deeper into it. That's all for now.